Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. <clears throat> Excuse my blinking, I've got the sun right in my eyes. Um, I'm going to be feeding the chickens. Now somebody, while I was at work, left a couple of bowls of uh, cabbage, which you should be able to see here, and then some greenery down here. I've thrown that down, they're going, they're, they're going at that pretty good. I'm going to throw the cabbage and let you watch them eat for a few moments. It's not, may not be, it's not a particularly fun-filled, action-packed video today. It's just that I finished work. Um, it was chucking it down 10 minutes ago, and now it's bright as all hell. So you could, you know, uh, you better watch them uh, out in the sun, enjoying themselves. Okay. So here's... Uh, cabbage yeah how on yeah they're like climbing all over the food Yeah, cabbage is a favourite of theirs, along with kale. I grow both here on the allotment. Uh, sweet corn, man, they go crazy for crazy for sweet corn. Some people grow that on the allotment. Actually, it looks easy to grow. Yeah, you see how they're ripping up the cabbage leaves. They can do that when you put so when you're eating food out of your hand, like you know, uh, sweet corn or grain or whatnot. They can be a bit savage. Yeah, it can be pretty rough. Even though they're uh, they don't have sharp beaks, they're kind of pointed, but not sharp. Not like a bird of prey or anything. But they're they're definitely not rounded. Ooh, one of them's got a slug. There you go. And the other, the other ones want a piece of it. That happens a lot. They can't just find their own. They've got to... <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's the one with the slug. That other one chased it around. This one's having a look, but it's on the wrong side of the fence. It's funny that you see that a lot, you know, it'll find a, one of them will find a slug or a, a big meaty, you know, a snail or something. And the others will chase it around the yard, wanting to take it. three in focus here. Two of them over there. This one eating the greenery. I keep uh, one and two water feeders. A lot of the, uh, the other grain feeder is there. That there's the grit and behind it is the rice. I keep two water feeders now, now that the weather's warmed up. For the last couple, you know, several months I've kept two water water jugs.
to be of an awkward angle, but I'm trying to keep those in focus for oh, this one if I can. They can throw those leaves around, let me tell you. They've got a taste for apple as well. Some apples fall down from the trees that are on the plot here. And uh, what I do, I, I break them open with a shovel or something and they like the seeds and they even eat the apples on the in, you know the inside of the inside of the apples not just the seeds it's when the apples soften up they they like those Anyway, but yeah, if you have chickens uh, of your own or you know somebody who has chickens, say, uh, you know, if you've got a spare pot in the garden or, or anywhere, you can actually grow this stuff in a pot, anything you like, cabbage, lettuce, uh, kale, uh, you, know, you know, all them green, all, you know, green, even grass, you can grow that in a pot put that in their pen you know and if you know somebody with a chicken you can always you know you can grow this stuff when it gets uh big enough throw it in for the chicken uh like i say even, even grass i you know you can grow that in a pot just put the pot in the enclosure they'll eat the grass and if you have a grill over it it'll it'll stop them messing up the dirt so uh it'll regrow It's a good way of trading as well. If if you have a neighbour or a friend who has like like I say chickens, if you grow lettuce and whatnot, it won't cost you anything except for the you know a few seeds. Grow them, trade them for the eggs, you know. The chickens you get some some green leaves food. You get some eggs. Uh, the owner of the chickens gets to uh, reduce their grain bill slightly. By, by having some, some of this stuff thrown in. Anyway, I don't know how interesting this is for you, but uh, I'll just, while, while they're munching on the cabbage, I'll just keep on filming them. People like watching them eat. Yeah, they're making all kinds of happy noises, I think. This is something I put in months and months ago. I've never seen them looking into it, into their reflection. That's a couple of CDs put back to back, so both end, both sides are reflective. Uh, I mean, I can see from here all the rainbow colours shining on it, the reflection. But uh, I've never seen them looking at it, but I don't know whether they do...
And of course, the good thing, I've actually done this before. Somebody donated some cabbages months and months and months ago when I first got the plot. Uh, but the thing is, these have been ripped out of the dirt before they had the, the cabbage and the long stalk with all the roots. And I threw it in for the chickens. They ate it down to the nub. And then I buried the roots in the ground in a plant pot and it regrew. So it didn't kill the plant, even even though I got even though we got uh, munched. So there's another thing, you know, you, as long as the plant doesn't die, you just put the roots back in, it'll regrow. It's a bowl of diatomaceous earth, by the way. They can climb in that, roll around. That's to uh, diatomaceous earth. Di diatomaceous earth. That's uh, a fancy name for pulverized clay, I think. It serves to keep the lice, kills the lice, and uh, whatnot. You know. There you go, it's had enough of the cabbage. Actually, what I'll do... I'll go out and film from the other side. There you go, there's the orange fence. The gate there so they can't get out. Mint plant. Diatomaceous. Oh, tell you what. What have we got there? Oh, three eggs. Excellente. Yeah, a couple of days this month. They've been churning out zero. I mark it all on the calendar. And uh, I think their cycles have all gone in sync where they've, uh, they've produced nothing. Some days nothing, sometimes one, two. Sometimes three. Yeah, they do like uh, the leafy areas.
Yeah. These apples that fall on the plot here. Like, can't see it. There, like, like those and all the other hundreds of apples. Uh, they're all little ones, they're no good for eating. So what I do, I throw them into the netted area that's surround, either in the, in the chicken run itself or in the, in the fenced off area around. So the, the apples will rot. Either the chickens will eat some of the apples, not all of them. The, chi the apples will rot, which will feed the worms. And in turn, the chickens can eat the worms. And which in uh, which in the long run brings the grain bill down, which is the uh, all good. You know, the more free food you can give them, the better. Saves on you know money, of course, but uh, the more natural food you can give them, natural greens, natural bugs, and all the rest of it, that it's all the better for them. Yeah, they do like foraging in the dark corners. Anyway, okay, that's uh, that'll probably do that, I should think. I've got to be able to oh, try and turn this around. Uh, sometimes I accidentally turn it off because it's one of those touch button phones, you know, it's uh, like a you know, anyway, it goes real easy. Oh, there you go, We're all eating in the same thing. Right, there you have it. That's a little, it was a long video. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but while they were scratching around, I thought that you might find that interesting. Uh, so it was just another day on the allotment, letting the chickens roam as free as they can. Uh, you've seen their enclosure. They, they, they got a good area. And then when, I, when I'm with them, supervised, I can let them around the, the whole caged area, which takes up half the allotment plot. Yeah, they do like rummaging around. So there you have it. I'll leave it there. 21 minutes coming up. And thank you ever so much for watching. Leave your comments. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up. It helps the algorithms or something. And if you want to help the channel, just leave the ads to play. That, that really helps. And I can put the money towards getting them a, a watermelon or a bag of maggots or something, you know, with the advert money. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.